So out here we have 8 pounds of crimson clover and 30 pounds of Jerry Oats. And this was spread towards the end of August. Um, I wanted to get the oats to see how much hop growth I could get and what that did to the crimson. I didn't use a super high rate because I didn't want it to smother it, but enough to hold the soil this winter. So the oats um, did what they're supposed to and I'm happy with the stand of crimson too underneath of it. That'll, the winter kill will take out the oats and then the crimson will be there for next spring. And We did put manure on this field after we seeded it so it was growing and we came in with a vertical tillage tool to uh, put the music at kind of like a drag line type tool so it doesn't move a lot of soil it just kind of slips the ground open puts the manure in doesn't disturb much but sometimes i get like peas it tends to rip out um, but i wanted to see what it did with the crimson and really um, it didn't do much to it so i'm pretty happy about that the oats, I knew those would be resilient enough. They weren't going to go anywhere. So this did get a spike of manure, uh, which will help it persist later into the winter. But good, good soil coverage, and uh, you can see the little water mark on the baby crimson coming through. Not as quite, not quite as tall as some of the other crimson that we've seen, where it's just been more of a monoculture clover out there. But the two together kind of work hand in hand. The crimson will, will feed whatever cereal grain it's with with nitrogen and the oats are going to protect it um, through harsh weather.